Right, I don't know everybody's focused on Joe Kondrini next, but this is going to be a great one right here. Yeah, and if Voltrax is able to win this game, the talk I'm hearing around the community is he's the favorite to win this tournament at this point. Not something we would expect coming into this tournament, but once they start seeing him play and how he's playing defense, people really like Voltrax to win this, this whole entire thing. Now, he's got an air it out stud quarterback in theory in Drew Brees, but remember that's a 15 cap Drew Brees. And the prize money that we're talking about, if you go ahead and scale all the way up, you get to 100 grand. This one right here is worth 35. Yeah, $35,000 money game. How, how can you, you know, you never think you're going to play a Madden game for 35K. This game's going from 40K to 75K, but the, the great thing is they've already stashed that 40K. So it's not like they can lose it. This is a complete free roll for $35,000. But it is stunning to think about. And, and as a guy who's been there and rolled out of bed in the morning, right, at a hotel room, you're thinking, okay, I got 40 grand in my pocket. That's great. I could add 60,000 more today if I have a good day today. You know, and, you know, talking to both these guys, this this means the world to them. You know, they, they're so happy with their performance, so happy with the money that's coming out, coming in, and it's going to do a lot for the both of them. So inside Pizza Hut Stadium, here we go. We have whittled it down from 74,454 competitors to four. Yeah, we'll again, predictably, here the, the look is the run. Voltrax is going to make use of this entire Oakland Raiders playbook. He's Johnson gone. already bursting through, and he's to the 30, to the 20. What a start. Volterac swinging the X. Touchdown right away. And he went untouched. Schemen could have made the tackle with his user, just missed him. And that's a really, really bad start to this game if you're Schemen. Voltrax, he probably didn't want to start, on the, start with the ball, but able to break it out. 65 yards, first play, Chris Johnson. You're talking about it, and Schemen losing sleep yesterday thinking all right how am i going to stop chris johnson i know it's coming it's not subtle how's my stick work where am i going to position guys he's already down seven nothing here's the snickers touchdown replay and it was just easy you know chris johnson he's not going to get caught by anyone maybe deon sanders but he was just out of position easy touchdown that's exactly how voltrex wanted to start the game and if you're scheming now just trying to get inside the mind here how quickly can you just wipe that clear away? How quickly can you say, all right, new day, here we go? You know, you, you have no choice but to do that. You know, I don't know how easy it's going to be, but you have absolutely no choice. And, you know, he's going to set these audibles in this playbook as well, this Saints playbook. He's going to be well prepared. I would like to see him actually go to that Taysom Hill package more like we've seen Joke do. Joke made use of a lot of that Taysom Hill. Scheming, not so much, airing it out a lot on offense. And I think if his key to this game is he's got to protect Lamar Jackson. He cannot let him fumble the ball. And he's got to run that Taysom Hill package. He has turned the ball over four times so far in the three games. The quarterback blast gives him the explosiveness he needs offensively, no doubt. The only other player in this round of 32 to use this Saints playbook, by the way, is Joke, and he is still quite alive, too. Yeah, that's the amazing part. This playbook's only used by two competitors, and they're in the final four. They may, may see each other in the finals. Trying to get out from this hole here early, and Lamar Jackson can do that for you. He's got the escape artist and fast break designation. A handoff to Pollard instead, and he'll squirm forward here for a gain of four. Yeah, but he took a big hit right there, and you do not want Tony Pollard taking them hits. Scheming goes to conservative immediately. He's not going to want to fumble that ball. He knows he's not going to be able to juke out Voltrax's 95 overall defenders. And what I'm seeing from Voltrax, look at him move that, that slot corner. He's actually moving him back to where he's like a linebacker, so it's like a 3-4 set, but he still has nickel coverage. Scheming had a 75-yard touchdown on the first play yesterday against Techers. That was an over-the-top touchdown to Hester. He's 75 yards away right now. And Jackson to the outside. Well, that's not all the way to the end zone, but that's some positive yardage anyway. And there will be a lot of running here with Lamar Jackson. And I would like to see Scheman go right back to it. Doesn't look like Voltrax has defense for it from that first time running that Taysom Hill package. It looked like Voltrax was all out of whack. I don't like his setup at all for that defense, or for that, for that QB blast, excuse me. Setting up, though, with an almost comically absurd star-studded roster at defense. And there's some defense. Lamar Jackson goes down hard. And, you know, I don't understand why he dropped back and passed. You know, he sent five routes out. Voltrax's DNs are going to be way too good. Actually, it looked like he sent a couple extra guys that we don't normally see from Voltrax. And, you know, he just got to him. Scheming going right back to the blast, though. Trying to turn the corner. 
And he's going to slide forward here to bring up third down. We're a couple minutes in. It's a third and six. All right, so what do you like third and six, knowing that he can use Jackson to both pass and run? I would go right back to the blast. You know, I think you wasted it down on that first down, end up taking a sack. you got to go back to the blast. doesn't look like Voltrex has great defense for it. You do not want to pass the ball here and make another mistake. One of the very few who does go five wide sometimes is Scheman. Buying time, flinging it in a coverage. It's paddled away. It's fourth down. And it looked like he tried to he tried to fool Voltrax coming out of that Taysom Hill package, but trying to throw at it. But Voltrax extremely prepared for that. Scheming, you've wasted two downs right now. You know, you should you probably should have picked up the first down. You take a bad sack, and then on third down, you don't go to the QB blast again. And now you're in a position where you almost have to pass. And Voltrax, with that 95 overall defense, it's going to be very difficult to pass on it. And you don't consider punting because you're punting it to Voltrax, right? And he'll just run it down your throat? I would probably punt here, honestly. Voltrax doesn't have a whole lot of offense. you got to find a way to just stop the run. Big early call on fourth and six, finding Harrison with a toe drag. And that's a great read right there, wide open. Full tracks, it looks like he just was in a little bit of a questionable defense, and he wasn't prepared for that, that corner route at all, which I'm very surprised because it looked like Scheman was going to that on a lot of big plays yesterday. Got that slot apprentice on Marvin Harrison, came in handy on a fourth and six. Again looking to throw underneath. Pollard will skip to the outside and gets belted by Tillman. Good to see Tillman actually in an Arizona Cardinals uniform. I know it sounds crazy, but I would actually like to see Scheman mix it up less. You know, I would like to see him go to that Taysom Hill package a lot more that, like, we see Joke do. Joke lives in this Taysom Hill package. I would like Scheman to do the same thing. Pretty balanced throughout this tournament so far as Jackson will turn the corner and get close to the first down. There is no balance at all, as we've talked about with Volterax. None. He's going to go right back to the blast. Volterax not set up. This should be an easy first down. Well, Jackson took it to that line. Are they going to give it to him? I think it's going to be inches. As they untangle here. Yeah, and you called it. I mean, it should have been kind of a gimme putt, but it's fourth and inches. And Volt just put his aggressive, his, his strip ball on aggressive. So that means if he's going to try to rip the ball out extremely bad right now versus Lamar Jackson. And he's set up right now. I don't know if it's going to work. Bulldozing forward. He's got that first down move. Those chains. Ball coming out, but then recovered. Well, that was scary there for a moment as Lamar Jackson kind of caught in the wash there. Almost gave it right over as we get late in the first quarter. 7 nothing, and that happened virtually right away. Yeah, but Lamar Jackson's extremely tired. You know, Schema's going to have to slow this game down. Probably just waste it down right here and run it with Pollard. And I actually like this decision. You know, I, I would consider using the timeout, but it doesn't look like he's going to. He's just going to hand it off to Pollard. The former Memphis Tiger. Current Dallas Cowboy. Pollard's a popular pick in Madden right now. Can't turn the corner, and there is that cement wall defense here that Voltrax has put together. Yeah, and that's probably going to be the end of the first quarter. Pretty good quarter on both sides for both players on offense. Excuse me, both players on offense. But, you know, scheming, it's going to get really tight down here versus this defense. And But one thing that's going well for him is Voltrax does not know how to stop that QB blast. I would continuously go back to it. Well, yesterday, Scheman got out quickly with a touchdown right away. This time it happens to him instead of for him. It's our club championship final coming up. We invite you to get comfortable here. It all comes down to this. 9.30 Eastern, the final of the Madden NFL 20 Club Championship presented by Snickers. That's following both of our conference finals at 9.30 Eastern right here on Twitch, on YouTube, or the ESPN app. Uh, Scheman trying to shake it off, so to speak, as we say hello into that Snickers Players Lounge. Those beanies look great, don't they? Yeah, I actually uh, had my good friend uh, Justin Chow snag me one, so I, I got one of those Dallas Cowboy ones. Uh, you look at the attire here for Bam, a.k.a. Scheman. He's repping that Aaron Rodgers jersey since he's getting comfortable as a Packer now. Of course, Aaron Rodgers did a lot of great work in Berkeley at the University of California. He was a Golden Bear, of course, and that is where Scheman now resides, is in Berkeley, California. So this is essentially a home game for him. He's only about 30 miles away from these studios. And it looks like he's going to go back to that Taysom Hill package. Look for him to use the run on the left side. 
Second and nine, and you bet to the left side with a zigzag. And Lamar Jackson will take a tumble at the six. It's first and goal. That was, you know, we don't see a lot of, of Voltrax user errors. It looked like he actually tried to click on to that Tillman right there and make the user his stick himself, but he should have just let him go. Tillman probably would have made that tackle instead. Scheming big run down to the six-yard line. When the field shrinks like this, motors it get tougher, especially against a defense like Voltrex. It normally would, but for Scheming, he's just going to be able to go right back to that QB blast. He's extremely comfortable running that, that down here. We're not going to see very much passing from the six-yard line from Scheming. Scheming, a guy that knows how to pass it in basketball. He was a point guard and shooting guard. Who mentioned that he played with Dame Lillard in middle school. Took over for him, actually, in the AAU program that they were together in. And as Dame Lillard prepares for a game tonight against the Magic, here's some magic. It's Whoa. Lamar Jackson to tie it up with an extra point. And from what I see, Voltrax does not know what to do versus Taysom Hill package. And if you're scheming, you've got to recognize that. You kind of wasted some plays on that drive going to a different set. Let's stop. And I would, I would assume that from, from scheming, we're going to see him go to that Taysom Hill package even right more here, than we've man. seen on that Let's first stop. drive. Don't even make the game as hard as it's got to be, man. Don't and again, Scheman pushing in, his dude. chips to the middle of the table on okay. himself. He's investing in himself as, a, as an eSports star. And this is where it's all going to come together for him, he hopes. He needed this. Yeah, that was a big run right there. That was Voltrax's fault, though. He had an easy tackle with Tillman, but just missed the tackle. And Scheman strikes from, from a short distance very easily. In real life, Green Bay and Arizona have played some memorable playoff games in the last several years. Just three years back, divisional round, Arizona in OT after the Rodgers Hail Mary. Seven years before that in overtime, that 51-45 game on the Carlos Dansby fumble return. Mo, I will buy your lunch for a year if this one ends up 51-45. <laughs> we, we got two guys just trying to grind through this one. Johnson up the middle gets cut down. And from what I see, I know Voltrax has only ran two plays, but he looks comfortable in offense as well. I think he has a very good idea once he, how he wants to attack this defense. And I would be very surprised if we seen Scheme and get the ball back before half if Voltrax doesn't break a big one. Voltrax, the Patriots runner-up in Madden 17. He jumped ship to Arizona. It's gone very well. Just like Chandler Jones moves from New England to Arizona to further his career. See Palomalu in coverage and now coming up a little bit. Johnson spinning and he gets decked to bring up third down. Third and long too. This is a very tough situation for Volt on fourth and six or on third and six, excuse me. He's probably gonna have to try to find a way to get one of those stretches open because he remember he doesn't have any wide receivers out there. He's not gonna be able to pass the ball. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, we're talking about the most random collection you can imagine. It is Vance McDonald, Andre Holmes, and James O'Shaughnessy. That's it. It's not exactly the three H's of Hester Hill and Harrison. 7-7 tie with about 3-10 to go before the half. Drew Brees in real life puts it in the air a ton for Voltrax. He never does. Johnson skipping free. He's got oh, the first down. And you know, one thing I like from Volt right there, he probably could have tried to juke and go for the big play, but he said, nope, I just want to get the first down. He didn't want to ah. test anything, and he could have easily got stopped to a fourth down, but nope, he just ran straight to the first down marker. Kind of like we see players in the NFL go for the pylon. That's exactly what Voltrex did, just extend the drive. The Clinton Portis card that was so popular a couple weeks ago has kind of morphed into this Chris Johnson play now. We've seen some Eric Dickerson in his tournament too. But you can't go wrong with Chris Johnson. And he'll belt his way forward, move those chains again. Nearly 100 yards rushing in the first half for CJ. You know, and Voltrak going to go ahead and use two clock. Not going to take any chances, take it to the two minute warning. And right, what happened right there, Scheman actually probably would have stopped that, but with his user, he accidentally hit it right when the ball was snapped. Run, run, run all day long. Chris Johnson for a few more. And if I'm Vol, I've noticed that Scheman has no idea how to stop me in this weak formation. I would, go, I would continuously go right back to it. The other thing is Voltrax is invested in a killer old line here, Mo. Joe Staley, Bruce Matthews, Alex Mack, John Runyon. Those guys were a wall. Yeah, Voltrax actually has six offensive linemen. He sneaks one of those right tackles. He sneaks them at tight end and then puts the, line, the, puts the tight ends at wide receiver. Just extremely creative, and it makes it very difficult to stop that run. Johnson angling left for the first down. No turnovers at all here in this major. 
Vault tracks, never fumbles, never passes, so he's not going to get picked. Chris Johnson one more Whoa, time, man, on, and that, that time ball. it's not happening. Good hit stick ball. to wipe him out. Keep running to me. And you know, that was actually a really poor time out there by Bam. You know, Volt's going to use this clock regardless. You don't really want to get the ball back in Madden 20 with a minute left. It's very hard to pass in those situations. And now all you did was give Volt more time to get a touchdown. So far in this major, 622 rushing yards for Volt Tracks. He's passed for negative four. But it's working for him as he is in field goal range already, trying to dip that clock down towards the triple zero. And you know what I'm interested to see if Volt gets stopped here. If he only get, picks up two yards or even a yard, will he go for it trying to seal the half with the lead? I wouldn't be surprised. Got motion to the left on a third and three. Well, you actually have Drew Brees put it in the air at some point. Probably going to see a stretch here. Look at Scheme, and he's just selling out for the run all the way. Blitzing his two cornerbacks, blitzing his linebackers. No one in coverage right now. With the play clock down under 10 now. 7-7 tie late in his first half. And that stretch that you're calling for, oh. he couldn't quite hurdle free. And he actually had a hurdle over his own player that probably would have been a touchdown. But Scheman is going to get the ball back. Prove me wrong. I thought those timeouts were poor usage. But he is going to get the ball back with a minute left. But it's very easy to make a mistake in these situations. Looking for the thickened field goal to make it 10-7. And he's dead letter perfect with it. There you go. But 56 seconds on the clock. Enough time for Scheman to do some work here, right? You know, I always like to say this is a perfect amount of time for your opponent to make a mistake. You know, it's very difficult to score in these situations. Even in the NFL, we don't see a lot of touchdowns or field goals being attempted with under 50 seconds left. This is going to be very, very difficult for Bam. And I'm afraid for him that he's going to turn the ball over right here. Scheman, who grew up in the Bay Area, he's played in this major as both the Raiders and the Niners, but with no belt in his possession, he's changed bays to change his luck. From the San Francisco Bay to Green Bay. Look for that Harrison on the corner out. Jackson's got a scramble, and in trouble, he just flings it out of bounds. Call me crazy, but Voltrax has a better chance of getting points before the end of half than Scheman does. I know it sounds ridiculous, but Voltrax with those three timeouts, Scheman dropping back to pass, and Volt has those very high overall defenders in coverage every single play. It's just going to be really difficult, but it looks like Scheme's actually going to go back to that blast, which I love. Well, you got the right guy for it. It's Lamar Jackson who turns the corner, doesn't quite get the first down, and doesn't get out of bounds. But a great tackle there by, by Voltrax, keeping him in, in bounds, and I don't love the timeout. Mm. But, you know, it kind of puts Scheme in a tough situation where he needs to run the ball. He doesn't want to give the Volt the ball back with two timeouts. Yeah, out of timeouts with 30 seconds to go. And up against that defense, which is star-studded. Ed Reed, Troy Palomalu, Tillman, Deion Sanders, Lawrence Taylor, on and on and on. Khalil Mack has made two big plays in the game already. We're going to see that Marvin Harrison corner out again. Will he get time for it, though? Harrison's in the slot on that right side. Full sense of blitz. He's got time. He's got Harrison flashing for a moment, but it's too late. And, you know, he could have easily fumbled that ball for six, and that's exactly what I was afraid of. I had a very good feeling that Volchak was going to stand up for himself before half right there. It's very difficult to score, and if you're scheming, you should have probably went to the blast only and just let Volt use his timeouts or not use them, kind of put the ball in his court. But right now, you made yourself in a tough situation where now you got to defend for 19 more seconds. And you keep it away from Deion Sanders wisely on the punt. Khalil Mack making two big plays in this game, two sacks for Mack. The guy that is a Madden aficionado. We're going to see Voltrax go to stretch here. Try to get the numbers. I would run stretch left. Breeze handing it off, and there is Johnson. He'll slither through, get to the 42. Still 15 seconds left. And Josh, that was so close to being a touchdown because it looked like Scheman's user actually got blocked right there, but somebody else was able to come up and make a play. Scheman's really uncomfortable. With Johnson having some room and spinning free, he'll dart and get to the 35 with still eight seconds on the clock. You know, that's going to be the half, but Voltrax had it. He could have ran out of bounds right there and saved some time. He went for the big play. It didn't pay off. Inbounds tackled 10-7 at the half. Scheman is right in it. It's a contrast in style, a contrast in personalities. We've had these guys wired for you at the club. Scheman at the club. Come on. What's up? That's big. 
Got to get him off. Boom, man. Come on. I need that ball. I need that ball. Keep running to me, Vote. Keep running to me. <laughs> Keep on talking, too. And over the holiday week, make sure to tune in. ESPN 2 has got you Friday, December 27th at 8 Eastern. A one-hour special devoted to the most memorable gameplay moments from this year's Madden NFL 20 Club Championship presented by Snickers. And the special will also include fresh behind-the-scenes all-access video of your favorite Madden pros. That is Friday, December 27th at 8 Eastern. Scheman is now a Madden pro. They have just delivered a whole bunch of Snickers ice cream to these Madden pros. That's a happy Snickers players lounge right there. They were barking for that ice cream earlier and they, well, they got it. You know, and I think Snickers has the best candy bar and the best ice cream bar. So those guys looked extremely happy. They said the players lounge was a little warm, need something to cool them off and Snickers coming through. Gotta be happy with it. Snickers doing a little add to cart right there. Thank you very much. And now, with Scheman actually in control of this football, but not in control of the game quite yet, I will say this, Mo, given that 10 seconds in, Scheman was down seven, he's done a great job to, to settle himself. If Scheman goes to this Taysom Hill package, he will be in control of this game. Wojciech has no idea how to stop it. Trying to skip free, Lamar Jackson gains him a few. One thing that I like Voltrax doing against that Taysom Hill package, he's actually using that slot corner where it was before he was clicking off and playing on that middle linebacker. He's kind of taking the, the ball into his own hands as, as, instead of letting that computer control the guy who's going to make the plays. He said, you know what, I'm just going to use the best player in the game on defense and make the play myself. And Scheman dropping back to pass. I don't love the decision here. This is where he can lose the game. He's turned it over four times in this tournament already. Here comes that. Sack opportunity, and down he goes again. Khalil Mack is having himself some lunch. It's going to be next to impossible to pick this up versus Voltrax. You might want to consider picking up eight or nine yards here and maybe going for it, because Voltrax isn't going to give up no third and 17s with that defense, you wouldn't think. We talked about Khalil Mack in real life being a Madden guy. Inspired by Madden in college, in fact. It's going to be Didn't tough for him to buy time right here on, fourth, on third and 17. Dangerous pass, and it's knocked away, not picked off. You know, that was Voltrax's fault, though. It looked like he clicked off right there of that of that Tillman, but if he lay, stayed on that Tillman, he probably would have got that ah. pick on the tip. But Scheman's going to have to punt this ball. Voltrax, way to stand up for yourself. And if you're Scheman, I would have continuously went back to that blast. Voltrax hasn't shown you he can stop it at all. You just gave Ola a stop. Deion Sanders, the return man, by the way. Deion Sanders was a lifesaver for Scheman yesterday with a pick six. This one out of bounds and up by three with 3.34 to go in the third. It'll be more run times 10 here from Voltrax. Yeah, he's going to be running the ball and look for that clock to dwindle down to. Not going to give him very many chances to correct that mistake that he just made. 66 yards on the first run from Chris Johnson for Voltrax, but ever since then, it's been about, what do you figure, four or five yards a pop. Yeah, he's still run, running the ball effectively, but it looks like he's actually being kind of lazy. Yesterday, we seen him motioning guys, flipping the formation. It looks like he's being a little bit lazy, just trying to break a big one out, out of that same run that he got one early on. You know, I think we're going to see him go back to that motion, use the clock. And Chris Johnson, who actually ended his career as an Arizona Cardinal, gets spun down. So now you've got a third and 11. And again, you know, anybody else you're saying, okay, you know, you, you throw it out there, you pass the ball, but to whom? Vance McDonald, Andre Holmes, James O'Shaughnessy? I think we're going to see a run here, and if he doesn't get it, likely punt it away unless he picks up 9 to 10 yards. He knows his defense is very good. And Scheman, not, a, not the best offensive player, and he's making life difficult on himself. Johnson has the edge. Oh, Chris no. Johnson first down. And look at him go down there with Chris Johnson, not taking any chances. He's seen that the person who was going to tackle him was a secure tackler. No reason to even question whether or not you're going to fumble. Just get down. Very good stick work right there. That's a tough, tough thing to do. Great presence of mind. Was that an over-pursuit from Palomalo? It looked like he was close to the action there and just kind of ran by. So we see Voltrax actually has the identifier chemistry. So what that does, he's able to see who Scheman's usering on the play. And Scheman had just clicked off of that Palomalo, so that's why he snapped the ball immediately. made it, And so Palomalo just shot down over pursued and it was an easy pit first down for Voltrax. Feed the beast Chris Johnson this time Palomalu's got him. And Voltrax is missing some holes right now. It looked like he could have cut that outside but instead he runs right up the middle to Troy Palomalu. 
And, you know, he's right on the brink of field goal range, third, but he's going to have to use this clock. Alone, he's going to have to find a way to get points on this drive. This is going to be a very oh. tough set of downs. Come on, man. Call me a dork if you want to. I wear that badge with honor anyway. But if you hold him to three here, isn't that kind of a win for Scheman? You can still go down and win this game 14-13. That's definitely a win. But you also have a chance to stop him from getting this first down where he, where he won't get any points. So you still have the opportunity to stand up for yourself. Uh-oh. Johnson is absolutely clobbered. And, you know, that's what I'm talking about. That was just very bad run vision from Volt. You know, we haven't seen that a lot. That was a touchdown. If he takes it outside, there was no one there to catch him. And Voltrax, very questionable run stick. And now he has himself in a tough situation. That was Keith Bullock, right? And he's got the secure tackler designation on there. It is scheming. Seen a lot of big pops from Keith Bullock in this major. Wouldn't be surprised to see him audible to that wing formation, that I-form wing. He's going to go strong wing. On third and seven, CJ one more time. He curls, he's got that first down. And it looked like Brandon crazy, King, bro. the 10 cap, actually crazy. came free, but he's just not a very good player on Madden. Not able to seal the edge and, and Voltrax realizing that with Chris Johnson just going to go ahead and bounce it outside. If we seen Keith Bullock right there, he probably makes that play. If I was scheming, I would make some adjustments, put Keith Bullock at that outside linebacker instead of the middle linebacker, because that would have been a fourth down situation for Voltrax. Chris Johnson from Orlando, just like EA Sports. And here he is with a big, big push for Voltrax. And again, Voltrax or Scheman will be in that title game. We're essentially in the final four right here. Joe Condrini standing by next. Johnson, green grass. Johnson in the house. Touchdown, Voltrax. And you know, Voltrax just busting the run right there. Scheming all out of whack on defense. Vol Voltrax, he's using that motion. Just like I said, he wasn't going to it in that first half. At the end of that first half, made life easy on Scheming. But now, <clears throat> using that motion, making that it very four. difficult for Scheming to get set up. That might have been a $35,000 play right there, right? I mean, you're talking about that much money at stake in this game. And, you know, there's no worse person to be down two possessions to than Voltrax. He's going to use the clock. He's not going to make mistakes, and you won't see him pass the ball. Johnson to the end zone, and that's not a surprise. This is basically the score that Voltrax has been winning by every single game, somewhere around 17 to 7. You know, and you know, it's such a great game until the third quarter, until the fourth quarter, and then Voltrex just kind of takes over, and it seems like the game was a blowout. Lamar Jackson able to pinball free, and he'll get past the 25 near the 27. And you know, it looks like Schemann's now on conservative right now. He could have fumbled that ball. Very lucky that he didn't fumble it. Will he keep bulldozing here with Lamar Jackson, or will he take a shot downfield? It is Jackson running right up under his own offensive line. And that's going to get us to the end of three. Voltrax where he wants to be. He's up 17 to 7 on Scheman now as we get set for the final quarter. Four is up. The fourth quarter presented by Snickers. Oh, no, no, don't try to this party's garbage. That bad, huh? It is that bad. It's like a bag of zero. zero. Try this creamy Snickers. You could use a little smoothness. Is that one of the zeros? Get smooth with the fresh ground nut butters and creamy Snickers. With the ice cream now in the Snickers Players Lounge, that delicious Snickers ice cream. You see Drini in the back there. He's getting ready. Joke will be his opponent. Hi, guys. We've whittled it down from 32 to 4 right now. Of course, originally it was 74,000 plus vying for the, the chance to get the belt. Something my partner has two of. And can Voltrax kind of elbow his way into the room? Scheman has put all of his interest and energy into eSports now. now. He is so close, but he's taking on a very difficult guy here in Voltrax. Only five minutes left in this one. And we're seeing him go to this blast a lot now. Would have liked to see that in his last possession. Now Jackson up, only getting a couple. And he's going to be kicking himself after this game, you know, because he knows that blast has been there, and he just he just kind of let it drive, get away from him, just was impatient. But now he's in a position where he's going to have to pass, and I don't love his chances versus this defense. Underneath, and there's a salary cap pick. You might call Pruitt. We're going to see the blast right here. Can Voltrax get set up? On a third and two, we're down to 4.14 to go. Might have some space. No Voltrax is set up. 
Somebody pick him Boy, up. Boy, he got close, but I he got Ooh. elbowed back here, Mo. I don't think they gave it to him. Fourth and if, down and about a foot. And if he goes to this blast right here, Voltrax's players are able to make him fumble. Although he's on conservative tackle, Lamar Jackson is extremely tired right now. If he takes a big hit, he'll fumble right here. Against this defense full of superheroes. It's like Marvel Comics drafted this defense. But there is the first down of the 45. And he went with the conservative tackle Tillman did. And if he if it was a big hit, he would have struck the ball free. But look at that clock just winding. You know, he's no huddling, but the clock's still ticking very fast. Jackson surveys. Remember, Khalil Mack already has three sacks in this game, and he's in the vicinity here as Jackson gets pushed out of bounds. And you know that Lamar Jackson's going to be beat red. Not going to be able to make the plays he wants well with his legs. Not going to be able to run the ball here with Lamar Jackson. We talked about the basketball background of scheming, and you would think that's a translatable skill set, right? I mean, being able to see the court as a point guard, right? He's got to see this field right now and find something. Yeah, but it's very tough when there's nothing open. You know, you can have all the routes out there, but if somebody's playing great defense, there's just nothing there. As, you know, there's nothing you can do. Scheming back in May, there's a pinned wow. tweet. Says, belt coming for 20, mark my words. And he's running this blast. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to audible. But he looks like he's actually going to give Pollard the ball here. And if he's going to go get that belt, he's got to find a way to rally here, Mo. With only 3.11 left and a timeout taken. You cannot use a timeout right there. You're down two possessions. But Lamar Jackson was extremely tired, but that timeout's way too valuable, especially in a game like this where you know your opponent's going to run the ball. There's the run, and there's a little bit of room. Lamar Jackson tiptoes out of bounds. And he just looked like he caught Voltrax off guard. You know, Voltrax knew exactly what he was coming out in, but just extremely unprepared and gives up a big play. And they sealed that edge on Shazier there, too. Jackson again trying that left side and scrambles out of bounds. So it's a, a little bit of Voltrax's own medicine here. Nothing sexy. You're just going to run the ball, run it well, but you're only down to 3.03 on the clock now. I would kick the field goal right now. Down by 10. You only got two timeouts. It's unlikely you're going to be able to score before the two-minute warning anyways. I would take the field goal, go down by seven, and give yourself a lot of clock if you're able to get a stop. Because regardless, you're going to need that stop. You don't want to get in a position where you're going to absolutely need an onside kick to stay alive in this game. Couldn't turn the corner on Pat Tillman. And again, just a star-studded lineup here. Tackle supreme on Pat Tillman. Tackle supreme on Palomalu. Ed Reed can get on the field. Khalil Mack, and there's another smack. As down goes Lamar Jackson into the arms, the Hall of Fame arms of Lawrence Taylor. And that's why you kick the field goal. You take a little bit of pressure off yourself and put it back on your opponent. Now it's way too easy for Voltrax. He knows if he keeps him in bounds, this game is over. Yep, this is pretty much your ball game here before the two-minute warning. Voltrax trying to move on, representing the Arizona Cardinals. Scheman, who has switched allegiances from the Raiders to the Packers. This is it for him. He's got about nothing. to get crushed, and that should do it. Right at the two-minute warning. Yeah, so he doesn't even get the extra play. It looked like it might have been 201, but that extra second just ticked off. And Voltrax in great position to advance onto this finals. It's just ants on a popsicle stick, this defense, you know? I mean, Lamar Jackson is Lamar Jackson. If anybody could escape all this, it would be this Lamar Jackson card, but he can't. And it looked like Voltrax had some space right there, scheming with a huge user hit stick. He's going to need to knock one of those out if he wants a chance in this game. Keeping in mind, though, that Voltrax never, ever turns the ball over. He has yet to do it in this tournament. Trying to rip it out, but no, Chris Johnson takes very good care of it. And we're down to 154 to go. You know, I don't want to say it before it happens, but if Voltrax gets stopped right here, I wouldn't be surprised if we've seen another fake punt to walk this game off. This could be a walk. Actually, a, a little crawl oh. right down to the 30-yard line, just reclining, taking a snooze to end it.